welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to uh, Beer Talk 166. Uh, as per always, uh, super chats are open. Uh, there's also a join button if that's available in your region. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. We also have a giveaway and uh, much more to talk about than that. Uh, that's about it. How are you doing, Eric? I'm doing fine. Most of it, uh, most of all, of all, is that I'm finally done with Postnode, and the verdict has come for this independent firm that you know evaluates what's right and wrong, and they took a favor to me. So Postnode has now finally paid out the last kind of you know money. Which was <laughs> so the the glove didn't fit. <laughs> Something like that. Oh but God! So how long is this? A year, year, almost. A year, yeah, a year. And I finally today got the, uh, this kind of uh, from Post uh, Please type in what you think about us and how we deal with this kind of behavior. And how do you feel about our services? Uh, I have I to think take you to you court, so no. <laughs> I think you screwed up a little bit there, Eric. I think what you should have done when you packed the turntable, you should have packed this can of sewer strumming in it. Yeah. Nobody would have fucked with that box then, because I got my box from you <laughs> when you send the Sue strumming and all that nonsense in there, the crazy candy, the salty candy and shit. Yeah. The box that was came so in mint. salty. Holy <laughs> fuck was it ever, eh? Oh, that was, yeah, and that came in mint condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, I mean, the package that I sent it in was tailored, it was the same as the Oppo player, and it was just tailored fit perfectly. And has that shit, you know, Travel all the way from China to here, and I just swap it out to put in the biogram, and suddenly it's a big dent, and that dent is just, I mean, and how it looked. I just now looked at the, the, the one year old pictures of how the biogram looked when it came to my club. It's damn. Oh, yeah, Someone has just, just done that to it. And, you know, how Postman was like, first of all, it's not about it's not our fault it's post ml then it's just okay it's not <laughs> the their finger. fault it's your fault eric it's your fault your package there it's not good enough okay i had packages this way and i you know picture of it okay 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 it's our, it's our fault okay okay but you will not get any money for it offer it okay but well, okay i have a receipt i have taken this kind of extra insurance okay 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 you can you can get some money. For is this but all not, but, through emails and shit? Or like yeah, that? and this kind of person that I have mail corresponding with all the time was just like, first of all, this the funny thing is when you sincerely Eva, sincerely Eva, and at the end of it, you just Eva, <laughs> she just gave up in this. Fuck I'm it. Just, yeah, fuck it. She's just. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get my sincerely asshole. No. <laughs> it's been a year of my career that I had to deal with your stupid antiquated turntable. And I was <laughs> always sincerely Eric, sincerely Eric, and she was like, nope. <clears throat> so. Oh my sorry. God. Yeah. And, I, you know what? I am very, very lucky that I have the the companies that I deal with for postals or for, for shipping, especially BNO, of course. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Every time now I send up a package and it doesn't, you know, explode or they, they just don't have it, hammer it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just glad. <laughs> and that's, you go, oh, they don't wreck the package when I send it. That's good. So, yeah. But now you're, the, now you're we talked about it. When you're on our little bit of chat group that, you know, it's finally good to have an you know, apology in print, but still, the biogram is still broken, the money... You'll and, never get that back, that's what yeah, sucks. Yeah, the money right? still like, not... The, most important. the money won't fix that. No, no, no. But it's finally good to have the apology and it just, once and for all, it was their it's, fault, not mine. I think the acknowledgement of, yes, we fucked up and we know it is, uh, you know, at least it's worth something, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know so, what happened to my Chrome. But that was very crashed. surprised. I was like midnight and I was, saw this email and I was just, <laughs> all right, let's see what they had And it's just, oh, in favor of Eric, Postnode has to pay out this time. But, oh, oh. So how much was it? How much did you get? It's like 320 or something euro. It was the... I think the, the remaining price... uh, amount, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. I was like, I think the price that I set for you was like 500 or so. And that's the uh, 
what I insured it for to send it to you. I mean, still, when I uh, have uh, the, the I send pictures of in uh, print screens of you know people selling their beer gram worth is worth more. So something to there. Alfon says hi, to... by the way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Quite literally, uh, through the chat. <laughs> yeah. He has a new uh, secretary. <laughs> <laughs> he has a new routine that uh, every time that he's going to bed, I got a phone call f uh, from Nathan saying, uh, and I pick up and he's just, Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Can you bring me water? <laughs> Wait, he's uh, British uh, now? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It's funny, although how much you know international cartoons he watches and stuff he learns from it, and suddenly he just speaks English. He's one, two, three, and red, blue, you know, all the colors and all that. Yeah. Well, keep him away from the Samuel L. Jackson movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's a movie where he doesn't cuss us. <laughs> no, it does not. And, and having it cursing is no problem. That's funny shit. <laughs> Uh, so this what is, car is this? Uh, this is Kevin, by the way, in his uh, classic uh, car. He upgraded uh, the non-existing sound stereo, uh, system with the Murray, uh, Emergy one. I actually I like the green, and I'm glad you didn't go with the goofy green that the thing has. Like it actually, the anthracite looks good. Is it anthracite? Because it doesn't look yes. like silver. For... Anthracite, yeah. It's yeah. anthracite. Anthracite is such a. Uh, uh, alluring color i would say on that metal like it just because it looks well it looks way brighter than what bno shows it, it depends does. also if it's polished or not just yeah but you still it. have the darker tone to it i'll see because oh, yeah. i ordered uh i ordered an anthracite remote for me i just love it in you know this matte anthracite color what's that on the is it a gauge or yeah this is the coolant temp gauge cool normal hot <laughs> or boil it actually says and you have that on the front on the, that's crazy in old cars yes because the the th thermostat work differently than on modern cars yeah oh, which car is it with this uh, i don't know it's very old it could be a packard i think yeah. john i saw the i saw the the, the green explorer I actually saw this in person I'm, I'm just hating on it because of the pictures that green color just absolutely strikes against me. Like I just I don't know, and I love green color, but that is just too. Turquoise. It's almost fluorescent to me in, in certain lights, and I don't. Uh, I like it. I like the. I don't know. I'm just. I'm, I'm also traditional in a, in a in a way that I like to be you know subdued in a color of like you know either silver. Yeah, or... I would also like it more in this kind of not the leather green but more of the green of the metallic green that was on this car that also i like... think that my age it's not that i'm old but i think that the green color is more or less for the younger generation the younger crown when you have a little more colors on you know just boring as white and gray fucking t-shirts and you know it's a, a morris 10 4. oh so it's more of a british car yes but uh, by right the on. looks of it, it's like, I don't know, from the th 30s? Maybe yeah, 40s? my uncle has like three of these, kind of, but he has American cars, two Dodge from uh, a very early 30s car. This almost looks like a 20s car. And he has a late 30s car, this just aerodynamic smoothing and very cool. And he has a notch, uh, what we call it, this brand that doesn't exist, in, exist anymore. But the Swedish queen at the time had owned it, and it has, you know, the old not Donald Duck uh, hatch in the back when you're the number of ladies. Very cool. <laughs> See, that's like, I don't know. I don't think I would ever own a vehicle like that. They are cool, especially with this, uh, you know, suicide. But then again, like that is something Reasons that if, if a fucking, like some sort of an EMP attack happens of some sorts, this thing will, the worst thing that will happen to it will probably start. On its own, <laughs> and you can run away from whatever in like spark plugs. Thirty <laughs> minus, so like that's the where everything else you would have fucked beyond repair. Now, like you wouldn't be able to use anything that. Well, literally, I if 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 it went off and I wasn't in my house, I couldn't get in my house because my locks are electronic. Just buy Actually, an I do have a key in my car. or something. It's you know, bulletproof for everything. 
But yeah, so that's the old uh, boxing world from the eighties. Was it's like oh, oh, I remember those. Yeah. yeah, that was the first card that they've introduced headrests, right? Where yeah. <laughs> like oh yeah, the necks really snap when you get rear-ended. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's put something in the back. Well, yeah, don't forget that called... like a top, a high top speed at that time was like fifty-five miles an hour. Yeah. Well, yeah, but if you're like sitting in a ladder, a 60 kilometer an hour accident was uh, considered or deemed unsurvivable mm -hmm. back in the day. But I remember, remember. That everything that was produced in the Soviet Union was never meant for like people to survive. I mean, people are replaceable with stuff, not so much, you know, everything is replaceable. Yeah, fix it so. with a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Anyway, somebody asked in the chat, where's Henrik? Henrik has a... Today he's got the event or he already had the event? Yesterday. Is it, is, is it going on still? I think yesterday. I saw it yesterday. on Instagram. Yeah, but it was yesterday, I think it was. This yeah. kind of very cool event. It's his, one of his uh, local bang dealer dealers. I haven't with seen how many cars team. they had. So how many... What did they bring out there? Do you know, Mikey? I know there was an RS6 was in there. Yeah, was an there's an so RS6, a Lamborghini Urus, and a Ford Mustang Mach E with yeah. the Bio Play system in it. Also, some bangles and stuff, but also some brand that makes the outdoor speakers, the audio or something. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, the. What are, the uh, what are they called again? They make the speakers for the. Uh, what's it called? The, the built-in wall speakers for Bangles. Yeah, the but... Origin, that's it. Origin, Origin yeah. acoustics. Yeah. The Celestial and Palestial, or whatever you call it. I was surprised that, uh, well, the sound, uh, when they were talking about, whoever asked in the chat, like our own thing in a, uh, WhatsApp, what was the best sounding system Yeah. in those cars? And obviously RS6 won. And... I guess, well, the RS6, if you get the one with the acoustic lenses, which is a $5,000 Canadian dollar upgrade. Uh, Wasn't the Henrik, they said that the, the S8 was the best one? Well, A8L or whatever oh, is yeah, basically yeah, yeah, but... the best as, as it is. The, 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 best, the best sound stage you can get, quite honestly, out of all the cars is, uh, is, a, is a, well, Q8 and, and, and Q7, if you get yeah. the upgraded system, because they're just a large cabin. But, and also uh, that I remember when Van Olsen started doing audio for the cars, and the A8 was one of the first they did, and they really went into, you know, exploring how the car and so they really tailor fitted for that car. So I mean, I think that they are really nailing it with that well, car. I guess they got Especially to the, the point price. with the uh, with the new uh, with the new Audis that they were doing. They got to the point where they actually had to tone down how good the system was, uh, canceling the road noise and extraneous noises coming into the car because people you actually hear, uh, the kids are running well, over at the school. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> people stop having a perception that they're driving. They actually like yeah, people way... get motion sick and sickness. And Not even motion sick. You just fall the fuck asleep, man. <laughs> it's just so comfortable. You get air suspension. You get laser uh, or lidar uh, guided suspension, basically. Yeah. So it scans the road and it basically adjusts for the bumps coming up. So you don't really feel anything as much. And the acoustically lined windshield uh, windows, which are that polycarbonate, it's about one mil of polycarbonate uh, lens in in between uh, two glasses or two glass panes sandwiched, that takes fucking six decibels out of the outside noise. One of the things that I love watching on YouTube is all both Swedish and American car shows them I mean, and cars from the 70s, 80s and 90s and um, you to see how far that we've come and now we actually come to the point that we are, have to, you know, enhance sound to cars so you don't fall asleep, so you don't get motion sickness because we can take away all the sound if we want to, but no. So we are You can delete good. it to the point where it's just holy yeah. cow. Yeah. Even okay to the chatter. Even if the mask was made out of aluminium, signed by fucking David Lewis himself, I still wouldn't put it on. <laughs> but you could be Bane. Yeah. yeah. I see you have a nice setup here. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna smash I'm not, that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Uh, and they finally lifted all this nonsense rule here. It's it's great. You can go around and, and yeah, same here. We're not allowed. On. Yeah, they don't have to have you know. Idiots. Face mask and know that now. 
And now you know, like, who's beyond help. Like, there's still the dickheads that drive with the mask on in their car. I'm like, you are a lost soul, dude. Like, you know what? Yeah, get another in booster. Their car, it doesn't need really help, right? Get another uh, booster shot. It's talking uh, about people helping themselves. Uh, uh, here's Paul. Uh, Paul sent uh, this picture of his setup for, uh, what you call it, for the competition. Eventually. I like it. Eventually. I'll because the first picture uh, was actually a different one uh, because uh, <clears throat> he knew we were going to be annoyed about this sort of cable management over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, he would have got caught for that, for sure. So but he, then this... he, he, he was quick to respond with going like, uh, but sorry. But this picture, at least, he has uh, been watching something that's, you know, the right proportion of the screen. Unless the Friends episode where it's four by three, so that annoys me. So uh, Paul is uh, uh, our number one contender. Then uh, we can go to our number two contender, which is L Leif. How, how do you say this, Eric? Leif. Leif. Yeah, Leif. Or Leffe. <laughs> uh, I prefer Leffe because it sounds more like the beer we have here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lefe? Lefe? That's an old school setup. Holy cow! That's like two thousand six, seven, maybe. At is it forty two yeah. inch or is it the fifty? That's a fifty. Uh, it looks small, but yeah. Lefe, Lefe, Lefe. Send more pictures. So uh, <laughs> this is all good to uh, remember uh, because uh, to explain, uh, people are going. Uh, I you, you good people from chat. I need you to vote in a mo. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like the color of his uh, sofa. That's good. Cool. Also, apparently, from uh, according to Tigris in Twitch chat, you're all safe because he didn't enter. <laughs> so. Well, he did kind of win everything. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. And Le Corbusier couch, or I mean, it? uh, it's uh, we can shoot holes in everybody, obviously, because Leffe, what the fuck is that? Like, why do I see little cables there? In the corner, <laughs> in the corner. That's terrible. Yeah, like, it's only kind of, no, let me see it. I mean, overall, I must say, I do like it with your uh, beer sound five and your, uh, what, what's, I know this brand of turntable, but I forget. Project. What. Is that project? Is it project? I thought it was. It the looks norm. like the, yeah, it looks like the tone arm. Uh, I can't really see. Yeah, it's a project turntable. I would bet my money on it. He's got a BNO mic as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like a yeah. It's it's, it's a project tone arm. In fact, yeah. I would say. Good for you, cause I fuck turntables, man. I'm done with all that nonsense. <laughs> I just. And I like the editor. I like the convenience Bull, uh, of like digital the... music. I'm 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 fully on board with Bang & Olufsen on this. Good for you guys. Stick to the digital. It's so much convenient, more convenient. But uh, I do miss Deezer on uh, the Mozart platform, like playing with uh, the level. It really, uh, it really separates itself from the products in the house because it's kind of it's 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 on its own, right? And you can still well, control with the remote control, but it's its own thing. Yeah. When it comes to Elias, the number three here, we can't really complain about cable management. Here it's just flawless. Mm. It's perfect. Oh, no, they're not plugged in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... Yeah, he's got no, the cables coming shoot. from the sides. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Good, good effort on the picture because he took it so you can't really see the cables as well. Yeah. I actually think this is at this place of where he works. I mean, he has a very nice view, but there is this uh, barbershop style sink here. Unless you're such a baller that you have one of those in your own home and you have your... <laughs> <laughs> That's for my shaving room. Yeah, <laughs> but somebody does it for me in my own home. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that's money. <laughs> I, mean, this must I like be, it. This must be Greece somewhere. Yeah, yeah I could be cool. No. No, I have no idea where that is in the world, but I like it. Yeah, me too. So, uh, I'll, uh, people uh, of the chat, I will give you the the voting link in a in a mo, uh, but you just need to remember uh, this uh, first. Uh, let me get uh, number four. We get Brendan. 
Uh, there we are. Nice looking harmony. I like your B and O yeah, cabinet. I like, it. I like the old school cabinet. <clears throat> and if he is American, I'm so glad that he doesn't have the harmony on top of his fireplace. He is American. You can tell by and the air return vent uh, or the air conditioning vent up top. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, second of all, there is fireplace, but it's under. Yeah, yeah. But well, so he doesn't, doesn't have the. He doesn't have it in the center of his room, basically, because that's where the goofy no, ass fireplace is. Uh, put, yeah, he haven't put the TV on top of the fireplace like. Everyone. Oh, nice! You got that's... the halo as well. That's pretty slick. Yeah. That's pretty slick. I like it. And uh, be a lot. And too. I am looking for the back of that cabinet for you, but that's gonna be impossible. That's what he's looking for, actually. So somebody in the chat, if you whoever has a back cabinet, uh, that metal plate, uh, then get in touch with us here on the chat, or I mean, in in the email, and uh, see if we can get it fixed. Uh, I wish BNO had made more of it, but in the same token, for what? Like, there is no equipment to be had anymore. Everything is in the freaking TVs. So. Speaking of uh, Brendan, and you all laugh <laughs> at my uh, <laughs> Microsoft Paint. <laughs> I do it too, man. Oh, I remember the days they photoshopped stuff just to see how it works. You have to do the wishes, man. You have to see it. Where's that way? Do you see the, the, these, now, these nice is. blends? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty slick. I've done the same with uh, Emerge. If That's it, uh, probably the most massacre crop I've seen in a while. <laughs> like... I haven't seen my pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, you you could have zoomed in a little bit more and cut like more out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, that one almost had me sold on the left speaker. <laughs> Next proper standing upright and stuff. I think, yeah, he deserves a win just for the effort, man. That's hilarious. A for effort, yeah. Uh, and was, yeah, and we've seen these. And uh, this isn't that yours, is it? Oh, yeah. It's funny, though. It's funny how many people are so proficient in Microsoft. <laughs> Same here, man. Yeah. Well, it's what you did when oh, you were... Uh... That's all there was. Yeah, I mean... And not everybody can afford Photoshop because back in the day it was like four or five hundred bucks a license and shit, right? Now it's all yeah, and it ran license. like garbage. <laughs> mm, and now it's all yeah, we're just gonna uh, license you now for a subscription, so you can't pirate that shit. And I don't know if he's just showing it all off together, but the wire management definitely is enough. no. As you can see, the uh, Edward the has, he's been working yeah. double time literally because the fireplace isn't even bricked over yet. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm because the, the first picture he, he sent, and he was like, oh, I have more time, sort of, it came across. <laughs> was When this whole wall was sort of like, what am, are we doing here? Like, why are you sending? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I have I have progress. Yes, <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, mean, I like the placement of the TV. It looks nice there. And bonus point, this is actually from last week's show. Indeed it is. There's cool. us in the bottom. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I, I wonder what you're going to do for a center channel in there. Uh, he'll figure it out. First, he needs to up his game with... Uh, uh, what you call it? With, uh, with some oak, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, lastly, we have Alexander. Hmm. I mean, also extra points. Good, good stuff. I like the walnut. Hmm. Kind of screwed up the yeah, speakers look though, because the walnut cover. I mean, the walnut covers uh, have bronze aluminium surrounds, so the speakers kind of look off, but not really. But when the TV's closed, it kind of would, in my eyes at least. But. Do you remember how much it was for this custom work to get the wall not together with the aluminium? Yeah, about double. Like double, yeah. Uh, mm. yep. Uh, so, let's see. 
let's get this up and going. Um, so the idea is, is that you guys can vote and vote for whomever you want. You only get one vote unless you game the system and you have uh, multiple IP addresses. <laughs> 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 then I guess you can vote twice. Uh, Use your wife's vote. Yeah, uh, I I don't care. Uh, yeah, I, I'm spamming the chat with the the, the, the vote, uh, and uh, we have these as a, a little support in the memory. These are the prelims. To make it a hundred percent fair, we're gonna take. Uh, the top two, and then uh, uh, they can dodge it uh, or duke it out. If you're still here, if you're not here and you entered for this, then tough. If you're here in chat, like uh, I see Brendan in chat, <laughs> uh, then uh, you can make your case in the chat. <laughs> and uh, you Sweet, can I can watch it all unravel it like it's actually moving in live as people are voting. <laughs> you can see the pie chart shifting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh go vote i'll leave this up for uh, for a bit uh so you guys can uh know exactly what you're voting for <laughs> vote number six alex <laughs> right on buddy i'm gonna boost yours right yeah uh, <laughs> text your friends make sure they like get a link <laughs> it's worth it man those covers are fucking sick Actually, yeah. everything from uh, Prestige so far was fucking sick. I still think the the best one we've had in the prizes is the 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 shape cover. I mean, sorry, the shape, the stage cover. The fuck, do you have a typewriter in there, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Did you buy the Lego one? <laughs> <laughs> it was the same. I was. Um got a, a, a keyboard that's not that not that not technical but still it's very technical so it just click 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 and also I have the mic right here so yeah just a -a 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 -a. yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go vote people when are we gonna call it in half an hour per se like one o'clock I mean one o'clock whatever clock whatever o'clock time on a full hour uh, yeah <laughs> Wherever the all is, is uh, completely different time zones. Uh, to put, uh, I see Doris asking, "Did I get your email?" I don't know if I got your email or not. I pr probably did if you sent it to the right address. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I took out uh, the the top six contenders, and uh, the rest is up to the people voting. Uh, so that's more or less how we did it because we had so many uh, in inquiries yeah. for this that if. Uh, if I did them all, then we would be done uh, showing everything off in like an hour or so. <laughs> oh, God, that's like a funeral slideshow. Yes, that and that would uh, severely affect the show. I'm uh, So I'm, I, I can't say or not whether I got your email. I don't know because... Maybe you got in the spam box, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. So... Yeah, let's uh, let's see how that voting goes, and I'll go from there. Uh, but yeah, yeah I so, I still think the the stage cover is is my favorite, by far, by far, and the fives. It fits very well to the stage, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, and as, as Michael has shown it, it's very durable and it's very you know. Left got to vote. Yeah. Left foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, yeah, there is uh, a, <clears throat> yeah, these are a good deal. I like it. Uh, by the way, did we see, uh, I, t I sh uh, sent this over WhatsApp earlier, uh, a b and is uh, uh, profitable. Yay! <laughs> I clicked on it and it's, it's 56 minutes. I'm like, not right now. You can just, can just fast forward, forward to through it, it yeah, but I'll just listen to it. I'll have a cigar just... and listen to that shit yeah. and see what they're talking about. Well, it's good that they are profitable. I don't know what made it, to be honest, but uh, probably America. the harmonies. 
It made it cuts in America, too. that's for sure. No, it made some cuts. No, yeah. uh, North America made what was it sixty million Danish kroner, which is like, yeah, good. <laughs> mm. I, uh, w good news out of there though is uh, uh, what you call it is that uh, B and O apparently with the uh, with the portals got into Best Buy. What? Yeah. Should I overboard? <laughs> well, drink Saved faster. It. Saved it. <laughs> Portals are there? I gotta go freaking check them out. I actually, I want to see them uh, while Portals I Portals are them. in Best Buy, apparently. Uh, that's what the CEO said. With their Xbox exclusives, they got into Best Buy in North America with, uh, with the um, for with us, the Play no, Portals. Well, I hope that they have them in stock. Best Buy? Best is Buy is like a Best Buy is huge. like a Media Mart sort of deal, but they're oh, right. everywhere. Oh. It's and a huge electronics outlet. Like you can buy there. Essentially, you can everywhere. buy from appliances all the way to a uh, fucking MacBook, home That's theaters, good. the whole bit. So it's very accessible now. That's good. Well, it's not just accessible, but it's also brand awareness goes up, right? Because a lot yeah. more people go to uh, Best Buy per se than. Uh, Apple store, right? Yeah. Where that would be like only a very limited section that they had, like what they had a couple A1s or whatever on the display in uh, Apple. Uh, they didn't really have that much. Yeah, they had a Beulit 17. And that. Yeah. And a couple I remember headphones. back in the day when uh, the Beul player was branded that it was available through like Media Mart and such. It was cool to see, you know, bangles and stuff in other stores than just bang awesome stores. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, um, uh, some troll is trolling. <laughs> I like it. So, uh, the vote, uh, Leff has a vote. Come on, Alias, where, where, uh, where is your own vote for you? Or are you watching the football? And did you not care that much? Mm. <laughs> Probably. Mm. You guys, oh yeah, the the the, the foot the soccer thing is or football, whatever, it's still going yeah, on. Yeah, European mothership, yeah. Yeah, good. good Italy point. versus England, yeah. And it's weird that England is just not Great Britain, it's just England. It's like Sweden was departed through Jötaland, Svealand and you know, Norland that we got your own section of like Wales and Scotland and all the shit. Yeah, I don't follow it at all. I just yeah, I'm not surprised. I find it I mean, as, as interesting as listening to the profits uh, report from BNO. That's yeah. it. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't too bad of a listen uh, to the profits report. Well, yeah, because they're in the fucking green. Yeah. It's not just bad news, bear, right? So, I just, yeah, I want to listen to it. I want to hear. Yeah, but it very, very much reflects on you know for the products and all this seems kind of bright for them it looks good i wonder uh how many of those uh berluti things they've sold anders has one <laughs> well no like the tvs because the only one is on display is in paris right yeah i don't know i think that's almost a a, a marketing thing uh yeah i would, wouldn't be surprised if the all was sold, but still. Oh, Don yeah. says there's more than portals uh, on Best Buy online. That's good. Mm. That's actually amazing. That that's like from some serious underrepresentation on just Amazon, which is, I would almost prefer they didn't. I'd rather them be uh, in cahoots with I'd, Best Buy. I'd rather have them in Best Buy than on Amazon, because at least then. It takes off that bullshit burden of an actual, like a B&O dealer where some dickhead buys his headphones on Amazon and he breaks them and then he comes to a shop and tries to get them serviced, right? Yeah. Which, you know, piss off. Go where you bought them. Here's a 1-800 number and go fuck yourself. Like, that's not, I wouldn't even put up with that kind of shit. But with Best Buy, <clears throat> you buy them as Best Buy, so there's a little bit more, you know, you can just return it. You're just on a moving the fucking images uh, the thing today. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> just sitting there trying to follow this shit. Just leave it alone. <laughs> fucking hell.
<laughs> yeah. But uh, oh, the HXs are also that's cool. That's actually good. H10s, I guess. Uh, yeah. Brendan has a lot of friends by the looks of things. <laughs> Seems like it. Come on, people, vote. <laughs> we'll talk about something Probably else. Probably going then. around his neighbor harassing neighbors with his phone. Log into this link. <laughs> put a vote in their shit. <laughs> Don't ask me what it's about. Vote for me. <laughs> That's right. It's like a Girl Scouts. The, the one with the biggest parents and the biggest family is the one who gets the winner. So, yeah. And maybe he has a big family. It's just... Clicking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do agree, Amir. Uh, Bio Play products are perfect for Best Buy. I wouldn't go anything higher than that as far as the, the, the <laughs> line goes. I wouldn't be selling balances in there. It'd be a lot 28. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Like, those people don't even know. Yeah. No, but sure. balances and levels, why not if you can get yeah. away with it? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Level, yes. Balance, no. Well, apparently, the balance is available. Is it? Interesting. Balance so, and these kind of beer sound products is kind of what beer play was. So well, but the balance at the end of the day, like that's a that's a brainless uh, setup. Like there is, you don't need, you know, like back in the Beolit twelve days, a fucking engineering degree in electronics and 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 avionics and whatever else have you just to pair <laughs> this fucking thing into Wi-Fi. Avionics for when you toss it. <laughs> <laughs> See how it flies. <laughs> like son of a bitch. Yeah, that that was uh, the growing pains of the apps were terrible for the Esther years of BNO. Like everybody that has been around BNO long enough can attest to that. That it's just uh, yeah, the BO setup app. Then there was a BO tools. It was I don't know like yeah. seven different apps that we've yeah. had. I like that they've unified it all now to basically just one, well, two, I guess, in my eyes, because you still have the BO living intelligence. Yeah, I think uh, this increase in sales from Q3 to Q4, that's probably Don and Brendan alone in the Americas. <laughs> <laughs> that probably was the release of the 28th. No, what was what could have that been? Well, it's the yeah, portal. Don. <laughs> yeah. Could you start? I mean, a ton Portals? of people in North America uh, bought... Uh, portals from what i can see on reddit and also hx's and mm. if they're available at best buy yeah no wonder you're going to sell a little bit more yeah i like the i like the uh mm. the fact that the portals are available in best buy makes me want to go buy them right now but i told the boys that i'm going to get it well i get them also for a deal uh i'm going to get them from vancouver shop well, if the the price is the same, then what does it matter? Well, I'm just gonna. I'm already got a remote ordered and a whole bunch of other shit that that is coming. I just I cannot believe that like after listening to the 28, it's like a fucking kid in a candy store, right? Completely forgot to grab the 28, uh, the the portals with me, because he had them in stock. I just I completely phased, like I didn't even ask. And then I'm driving home. I'm uh, where was I? Halfway. Just past. <laughs> fucking past rebel stoke right like it's more more or less a midpoint and i'm sitting in the car and I'm like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> i looked in the back seat i totally did god damn it i forgot to buy them <laughs> so it's what it is oh my god what happened to you i uh, saw so that my mom called and now nothing got in and my mom called her uh my mom has gotten a virus on her phone the iphone and i was like how because don't that that easy and put it in the quarantine, put it in a drawer for two weeks, see if it goes away. God damn. Mama's watching some fucked up porn is what happened. <laughs> no, they're watching a series called Marco Polo something on Netflix. And she started to you know Google Marco Polo and yeah, I just I just click this link, but I should do that, mom. Oh well, no. Well, nothing has the patience to fix it, so yeah, it's done, but oh, <laughs> And this is the parents that I got when I, you know, the first PC that we had. My parents was like, don't, you know, install too much games. We have the virus and all that. Oh, uh, my dad was the same thing. Yeah, and now we're they are. shit on it, man. Yeah. It'll weigh it down. I'm like, yeah. what do you mean weigh it down? Like, this isn't like a wheelbarrow <laughs> that you put bricks in it and shit. Like, <laughs> fucking, it's going to weigh yeah, it down. Yeah, now they are, yeah. Oh. 
I wonder what I'm going to be like. (laughs) (laughs) Because, yeah, we're all stuck at our times, but I guess, like, our parents had it the hardest because they went from, like, fucking complete analog to now digital era, right? We were more or less functioning in a digital era. Like, shit you'll tell Alphonse fucking from your youth, it'll just be, like, unfathomable to him. <laughs> Which, like, to me was unfathomable, more or less, what, like, my grandparents were telling the stories, right? But Alphonse is very natural to just, you know, face time and all these, just natural. Uh... Well, John, just go to Best Buy if you need some. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's no Best Buy in England. I I have no idea, actually. The worst buy, probably. Yeah, I don't know that's, what they uh, got for electronics. You store. can't get Portal until October, November. Jesus Christ, that's a long ass time. I mean, that was kind of something they were talking about in this uh, quarterly review. Like, basically, a lot of Delays. things are going uh, extremely well, but supply shortage and supply lines are getting insane. Yeah. And where is that? Everywhere. The it's jokes. everywhere. It's literally from the point of uh, we can't get shipping companies to get stuff anywhere unless we pay like three times as much. We can't get the parts here unless we pay people three times as much. If it comes in a shipping container, the boats are full, but also we can't get a container because there's no containers. And so many levels of just... That's oh, by the way, balls. you know what's also fun? There's also no cardboard to package anything in because that's all on back order as well. You know that my I that's ordered crazy. a sofa in early March and uh, it was due to like mid uh, October, then it was uh, delayed to like early December, and now it's just bail. We don't know if it. we can get it to you. <laughs> no, it's it's week fifty one of you know fifty two weeks. So yeah, just before you know uh, you know. You receive, so we will see. I'm thinking for me, I'm betting on which one would come first the car, the, the Ionic 5, or the sofa, because it's neck and neck, I would say. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> uh, I think BO is walking behind the customers again because they're, uh, they're now, uh, they want it to become a sort of love brand. As in, like what they put out here, like win more customers and repeat business by becoming a customer love brand. I think most of us B and O nuts have been that already for like decades. I think a lot of people that own more than a set of headphones and like if they committed to let's say a television or something like that, that they are in love with the product because the amount of money, which is copious amount of money to spend on a television, comparatively to anything else. You have to have some sort of sense of style and appreciation for the design and product and electronics. But don't you agree say. that Bellson has only like two kinds of customer? The ones that are true fans and maybe don't have the money, but still really saves up and wants it and loves it forever. And all, and also that kind of customer who just, I want the most expensive stuff that fits the home that I'm never using. So I think I think no I think you're wrong. I think the the, the um, ones that are that want the most expensive stuff, I don't think they go for B&O. I think they go for these fucked up third party speakers and whatever else have you like because like, I know you know people... like a friend of mine that you know like he's got I would estimate about $300,000 system. My 90s will fucking embarrass it. 50s would embarrass it. 28s yeah, 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 would embarrass from it. From person I know in you know the top brand uh, store in England that sells to like multi you know billionaires and all that they just have apartments in high places in London and all that and just are never there but they want Bang Olsen because it's just the most cool expensive fitting the, the place and they want it for the summer house there they want it there they want it there but never use it so I don't know I just mm. feel ashamed because mm. I'm that person that like, use your stuff if you're paying for it. Otherwise, it's just a waste of money. But yeah, <clears throat> I I find here at least like every demographic and market is different. But I find here that like I've had even like clients that I'm, I'm talking like they're unbelievably wealthy, and they bought the entire apartment fucking done up in B and O, but he bought this. 
clear audio turntable because it reminded him of an oil rig that obviously that he's come from oil. The fucking thing was 360 pounds. It levitated. <laughs> There's three huge magnets and they're basically opposed one another. This huge fuck off pendulum, right? It looked like a, a yeah. drill pipe. And this thing would levitate about three centimeters. Like you could fucking run your hand in between this and there was nothing connected to it other than this little string of cable that was also in suspension. And then he bought, I don't know what the fuck speakers, they're just the most hideous things I had ever seen in my life. That entire system cost him more than the entire apartment renovation and the fucking B&O uh, system that he's put into the house. And he just put it there. Cause, and, I would just and love just... the dealer of that kind of person who sells this stuff that is the best audio system. You can, you know, you just need that, this, that, and just Dude, it was us. More it was more B&O shop. He just fucking said, okay, I want, but I want something special. And, and Scott, the guy was, a, was the sales, his sales guy and managing the store. He fucking went, got these guys from, uh, I forget the name of the company now, uh, we sat down and uh, yeah, man, they they hooked up this deal. So we did, you know, they came to install their part because we're not fucking touching these speakers. Were heavier than than <clears throat> like oh god, just solid wood, right? That was before, like you know, hit. I don't think he even had fives in that house. It was it fives in the other home and whatever? But it was just it, like I I disagree with that. I think that people that want to spend the I think it's the people that love the product, and I also think it's the people that appreciate the design and don't really care for the sound of it as much as they care for the what that actually looks like in their home. Yeah, I mean, it is quite stylish. I mean, I must say also uh, why they're probably making a lot more money is, is, is the products are just better. Yeah. That and also they're addressing an attack in a much younger demographic than they used to with a lot more cash and carry products like if we just like let, let's reverse back to the 20 years ago or the 2000s right like when david lewis was in the prime the really only thing that was cash and carry product that actually had any function to it was uh the a8 headphones or was it the, the bio sound then there was a bio sound one bio sound yeah. three but that's yeah. that's you know it's a cash and carry but that's a, still an expensive stereo very expensive for it was, yeah so it still sounds great to this day. But anyway, so then they had that. And then the Biosound 2 came out. And then the fucking Biosound 6, which that was a mistake that didn't even last at all. I would also and, say that um, even though the Biosound and TVs, even the 77-inch Harmony, is fairly good price compared to the old, you know, Bios, oh, Vision God. 5s like, and all this. It was just super... Bio Vision 12 with System 3 would have cost as much money as a 77 Avant. Still, a Bivision 5 at the time was just enormous money. And Bivision 9 with all this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, but you got to look at the, the the cost of the technology as well. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. the same thing like comparing a fucking 88 inch of uh, Harmony to anything yeah, else. Like just the panel is stupidly expensive and so is on a uh, in, the, in the Bivision speaking 5. Of the, speaking yeah. of the Eclipse and the Harmony, do we think with the LG combo, people were also sort of staring the cat out the tree sort of deal, like, let's see how long this goes, and people are finally like, this is solid. I'm willing to I invest so. in it. Yeah, I have Like so that's many starting that, to come around a bit after yeah, the sour grapes. Yeah, I have so many people the, that hated on the LG kind of combo with Eclipse, and people was like, no, it's not a true Bivision band, and now it's just, okay, it's so goddamn good picture quality i can't really say anything else for me i just the only thing that i really still miss to this day on those televisions is the curtains which is so little of programming to get that done they yeah, yeah i'd say that but when you have it other than you that don't really like care about it i don't really care for it well i care for the what the menus look like i think the menu shouldn't be blue and pink and all these goofy faggy looking colors i think it should be yeah, all black or white just like easy done for bells and if they're really good but still for me the very cool thing that for me when i got the clips was that pure black screen and i just had bangles and that's simple but it was so goddamn good how black yeah. it was and the contrast and just I goddamn still, this i still miss my curtains yeah, I have it on the, my Bio Play TV. But well, the thing is, is, the curtains weren't just the curtains; it was also what it did to the sound. Uh, yes, how it uh, 
basically yeah. brought it all down and changed the. the but now you have curtains when the TV rises up, so you kind of have curtains when. Yeah, but you still don't have that sound effect of where it sort of oh. opens the sound up. Because the curtains opening was sort of like it went from speaker one further out and then to the back as well. And off was from the back forward to the center point and off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just not there anymore. But I do think people are turning around on the harmony. And I mean, to, to put it this way, when the fives first launched, I wasn't a fan at all. Many people weren't. And, now and then, like, after five years of seeing them, then I was like, this is actually cool. <laughs> but it kind of points and that I have think with the Harmony as well a bit, they're ahead of their time for a lot of things. But the same with when the 50s, um, especially the 50s came along with people like, oh, they don't look like fives, so <laughs> don't have the stylish combo like did before. Tigger says but on Twitch, I miss my curtains. I have blinds now. <laughs> 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 well but yeah i i think that that's something that was always well i guess to people that never had b and o tv before in their life they never knew what they would have missed and they didn't before. have it on all i mean the old and mixers didn't have it and such but yeah it's a cool feature well, especially for well, b vision 832 didn't have it also yeah. that shut off just like Regular conventional TV. That was the only thing I, the only TV that I remember or or think that was uh, the best, uh, or I mean the the only one with a uh, with a uh, no curtains. In, but the MX kind of had a curtain because of the CRT screen where it went to a point. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So I don't know. I that's the only thing that I miss about it. Eclipse was a good TV. It still is. I, well, from where I had it, I had obviously in the early stages of adopting it. It wasn't the best. Yeah. Well, we all suffered that. <laughs> yeah, I just hope that the early adoption pain is not as uh, common as it. Although used the to version be. two of it is almost another TV. It's just amazing. So easy going compared to when we got TV at first. It's a different kind of story. So yeah. Out of change. Uh, I agree people. with Matthew. They could reskin that shit, no problem. Like no problem. It's it should have, in my opinion, it should have been part of the app that you install. So if you buy the LG TV and you get a Bio Sound stage and you installed an eight megabyte fucking app from BNO that converts this all to like work with whatever, it should have had that. That it just just changes the skin to black and white. Like give me the same menus that yeah. are, let's say on the Bio System Four or on the Avant. And and put the fucking curtains in there, dude. It's not that much to ask. It really is not. I do think it's a lot harder than we think it is. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, how is that? Still... Especially Be for because uh, unless you have uh, firmware access, which I doubt LG will give them to that extent. Yeah. No. It'll basically be a, a sort of video file that you have to have ready at any given point, which you then have to have loaded in the background for as yeah. soon as you press the button that the, the video plays with an overlay of what you're actually watching and does that. Yeah. Uh, I, I doubt it's that easy. I mean, Samsung did it with their uh, uh, top-down thing, but that's on a firmer level because they also have uh, the normal TVs where that doesn't happen. Yeah. I agree with Chad. I think it's more or less a resource problem than uh, than than technicality issue. They don't have enough people to put on it. Well, uh, to put it, like LG could do going. it for the B&O, but does B&O want to pay for that? And is it worth their time? Well, obviously in, not. In how many uh, screens they sell? I mean, I do see that. Uh, them becoming much more intertwined now that every uh, no, but I, I, like to counter that argument, like you know, it's a fucking, it's a lot of money for the soundstage, basically the the bottom part that you pay for, right? So, okay, what's the difference if it costs me a hundred dollars more that I would never know, or or two hundred dollars more that I would never know if it did or not? Difference wise, if that's what cost the LG to fucking do that to pay them, so. Like, that's my argument. Like, everything has a price. Everybody has a price. So, it's, uh, it, it I don't think that that, I, that, I, that, that was ever entertained to begin with. 
They Could just, be. okay, we're going to do this, and we just do that, and fucking shake hands. Good, let's go for lunch. Meeting's done. Uh, and no curtains. Yeah. Uh, it, it could very well be. Because I dispute the fact that the like LG doesn't give the access to the firmware. Because how the fuck do you control all that interface if you get a stage and whatever? What does that app actually do? Not if a whole it lot. Enables? But it does some to make that TV a B and O looking TV, right? Yeah, but with the stage, with the remote control and whatnot and things. Uh, yeah, but it's not much more than a pass-through over HDMI arc. Because with the stage, you don't get a B&O logo. No, so then... With the Harmony, you don't get a B&O logo. The only time you get a B&O logo with an LG panel is with an Eclipse Mark I. Because it was a custom-made panel. With custom firmware from LG. Yeah. See, so where's the problem to expand on that firmware for the future TVs, in my opinion? Uh, warranty, I think. Because, uh, I mean, let's say you sell, I don't know, 5,000 of these and, and you need some, some warranty panels. Like LG isn't really interested in making 500 of those for you. That's so little. That's not worth production wise at all. Yeah, so what do you do as B and O? Like do you just use the generic screen, what they're doing now, and turn a bunch of LG flashy bits off that normally start up? That because that's what that app does, basically. Yeah, but it has to do something on the firmware level to do that, right? Yeah, but it's turning shit off instead of like customizing a whole bunch. It's more like don't show the LG logo. But I am pretty much like Willie. I would like if you know by version that you're getting like a USB drive, or the installer came comes and just beep and Move. it's yeah. done. Yeah, true. Version, would you say? I I I think that's that kind of what the app does. Yeah, yeah, but still, yeah, and if it doesn't do it by downloading it, I think you know USB or something would be done for it to happen. Because that amount of money that you pay for a vision should be reflecting getting something above the regular LG. That's what I experience. exactly my point. Also, I agree with you on that. That yeah. if I'm buying, I don't care for the LG screen of it. Thanks, Don. Thank you, Don. I don't care for the LG screen of it. It's the that that BNO has an LG panel in their Harmony. I don't care for that. That's good because it's a great TV. The, it's the, the is fucking yeah. it's fantastic, right? But I do care for the fact that I am buying a very, it very be premium more product. It should included in the whole kind of experience. That's right, and that. it should be part of the package yeah. where you should have... One seamless bang, awesome product, yeah. I've okay. beaten those curtains down to the goddamn ground so many times that nothing's ever happened. Out Maybe a quick years. thing off the top of, the, of my mind then. Wouldn't you almost, if you want something extra, wouldn't you be more uh, well-suited with your dealer being first in screen calibration? Come again? So that you well, If you want something more than the standard LG, you get the standard LG out of the box, but your dealer had now has the Kalman AutoCal uh, screen calibration, so your picture quality is picture perfect. Because yes. we know LG doesn't come out of the box like that. It's close, but not perfect. That would be great. I mean, I actually. would almost prefer that, that you know, like you have the, the, the perfect rec 2020 sort of. Yeah, this is kind of the, what I mean. Mm -hmm. it's something that's, especially for, you want a full movie cinema experience. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking of something that's manageable for a dealer to yeah. do, which doesn't cost B&O an arm and a leg, so to say. Yeah. Should be included in the install kind of payment. Yeah, but then you're facing the fact of cheap dealers that don't want to buy the calibrator and such and blah, 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 yeah, right? But, but, but you can it, mandate if it comes that, from Bang Olsen headquarters, then it should be. Yeah, I guess you can mandate it. Did they mandate it with the fucking BioVision 12 when it came with the BioSystem 4, the little USB suction cup camera that was on it? Yeah. So. All right. Uh, Voting stops. 
Uh, Already? Yeah, I'm setting up the uh, the final one. Uh, it's nice. tight. There, there's uh... <laughs> Alexander. You're lucky. You you beat out Edwardus. Uh... <laughs> uh, you have until I'm, t- I'm I'm finishing this last poll of the top two. <laughs> Uh, Brandon's at the lead. Good, good. Very good. Landslide win. Yeah. And you're too late. <laughs> Ooh, it's tied. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, bloody hell! I wasn't expecting this. Uh, should we do a three-way runoff then? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, the top two oh is now two not. people. Mm-hmm. Well, three people because uh, Alexander and Edwardus are on the same amount of votes. Well, we're getting we know what are we doing? Just a pair of uh, grills, right? Yes. So Brandon won. That's the fucking end of it. No, that's not what I said. I said we're doing the prelims. Then the second voting round is the absolute winner. Because what if the people that voted for Edwardus are like, fuck you, Brandon. I hate you. <laughs> Alexander so needs to win. again. So then those three, it's goes between three of them then, I guess. Yes. Then we'll do that because you're fucking tied, you a-holes. <laughs> 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 oh, I, uh, I think it works just fine as, as it is. But let's roll that another vote, and, I guess. <clears throat> so, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Curtains, I don't think, will ever come. So that's just where it's at. Yeah. But, uh, but we want uh, something extra, I would say. Most of us. It's a new vote, Brian. Vote now. Yeah. Quite yeah. honestly, uh, I, I honestly think, Matthew, like, if they, if they just did, uh, if they just put it out as an open source firmware or open source code. I'm sure somebody would have coded that. Just like there's open source code for uh, uh, the gateway. That you can do your own thing in it. So yeah, I just, uh, I'm having a hard time understanding that. I think, so is this coding thing working? It's there we go. My Skype is not liking this whole thing going on here. <laughs> but yeah, I... Uh... Tigris, goddammit. What happens if all three draw, then we have the final say? That's right. <laughs> yeah! Why are you guys making this so impossible? As a Swede, <laughs> as a neutral Swede, I can make the vote. The last final vote. That's so we, uh, we have... Uh, uh, I'll do it this way. Anybody's interested in buying a Biosound 5, throw me an email. How old is it? You mean how fucking old is it? It's brand new, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Quite honestly, the Biomaster 5 has actually never been used. Uh, it was one of the model or demos that got opened up in Portland store. And then they shut the store down and I just bought everything out of it. For me, I mean... Um, the. The BS on five is just amazing because it's how cool it was and I still love the design of it. It's still very classic, but at the time for me when it was, I think it was more money than the BS on nine thousand, right, or about the same. I think and for me, more, it just yeah. yeah, and just oh, it's a screen and a wheel compared to this kind of you no. Know, Diggers, I to- don't have a problem shipping this to UK. The problem is that you would have is uh, you're going to have to get yourself a Biosystem 3 power supply and install it into the fucking thing in order for you to be able to use it in 220. Because this doesn't have 100, this is a 110 volt uh, variant. <laughs> so. Oh, Eduardus makes a good case. For every vote, I will buy a pint of beer for you all. <laughs> <laughs> Go vote. <laughs> Now we see about it, but whoop. That's right. So, I mean, yeah. The last poll was literally called the preliminary vote. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to tie it at the last moment. Yeah. 
Well, <laughs> didn't really let's see. count in this uh, result, right, Mickey? <laughs> what? You didn't really, you know, account for this to happen, right? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> How often does that happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> like where voting is fucking tied. Well, only on real talk. <laughs> where did the Brandon people go? Lose faith in him or what happened? No, Brandon is still here somewhere, isn't oh, yeah. he? He's probably yeah, the people uh, who voting for him, I mean. He's probably he calling was... calling all those people like Hello help! <laughs> yeah, again, again, where am I? Come here, again. Yeah. Funny. Make your so, case, yeah. Brendan. You have to chat on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> if you vote freedom, you vote Texas. You vote Brendan. <laughs> He's changing <is> the... <laughs> VPNs. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is there anything? Oh, England is ahead. Oh well. Yeah, one. Yeah. Just in case anybody cares, I, I think I saw it. Uh, Anders did that. Yeah. But then again, I'm never sure if anybody's trolling us in the chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's good, Anders. Uh, keep us, uh, you know, uh, noted if, uh, if you know something happened. <laughs> uh, Brendan says, "Be like dear leader Don. Vote for Brendan." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. <laughs> oh man. Uh, uh, I'll let this run to the end of the show and. Uh... <laughs> Well, uh, you have your. Uh, you can see what you're voting for. Uh, Brendan is under me. Uh, Eduardus is under Willie, and Alexander is under Eric. Oh yes, please. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a quite a collection of B and O here. Uh, Eight yeah, thousand, yeah, yeah, all of them, yeah. obviously. Then two harmonies, and even six thousands. I must say, though, uh, I'm amazed at how similar the cable management is between Brendan and Alexander's TV. Yeah. Yeah, and also that I wasn't uh, really in the know that people still had their eight thousands connected to their harmony. But yeah, it's cool to see old and new. I mean, not that old, but still. Wow. Is there anybody who has? They are old, us? man. Yeah, but still, ninety-six is, is, when they came out, or ninety-four. Ninety-four is when eight thousands came out. Ninety-six is when the CD player came out. It came out in eighty-two. Eight thousand. Yeah, they lasted for nearly twenty years, didn't they? It was way before the nine thousand stereo and all that come. So the six thousands then were ninety four. No, I remember. Uh, eight thousand, six thousand came uh, ninety two with the whole TV. You know that the, the, the AV nine thousand. It was yeah, nineteen yeah, yeah, ninety two. Yeah. I think yeah. it was ninety four for some reason. Maybe in Canada. I mean, two years ahead or behind. Uh, I don't know. No, but it was ninety two and ninety three. I'm certain. You, can, you right. can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm certain on the, it's, it's very old speakers, especially the first generation. Speakers. Well, that was the the AV9000 was the first TV with the curtains, so to yeah. speak, that they actually had real curtains. Real curtains, yeah, and the whole kind of you know that people actually used bangles and movie system or home cinema, and for that reason, it's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember when we got them, eight thousands. I think it was with the original Avant. It must have been early '90s somewhere. I'm probably the one only person who, who hadn't, who hasn't got eight thousand speakers. Never had them. Really? I bought them. Yeah, I bought them for my friend, but never for myself. To drop you from the call, fuck. <laughs> I remember when. The... Well, did you have Pentas at the time then? No, no, no. I wasn't raised. I wasn't raised with the people around me that had bells and it wasn't till like I was 14, 15, 16 when my sister's boyfriend uh, showed his kind of apartment was this collaboration with expert that was at the time from the early 90s. That oh, I remember that. That was the same here. Like the expert yeah. shop, you could buy B&O at just about any yeah. one of them. It had this kind of, you know, the infrared, you know, eye that he pressed and he had CX 50s rear speakers and he had this, uh, the Beowox red line speakers in front that all was in white. Maybe that's why I became such a bangles and white hat because it looks so goddamn modern. Yet it was, this was like in 2004 or something. And uh, the B Vision MX, Six uh, six thousand, or I think it was seven thousand in white. It looks still very, very modern, very cool. So, but never eight thousand. I mean, 
iconic speakers still also with pentas but never i got the 9000 very early on so and then yeah i bought my 9000 when i moved to canada yeah and then the five so yeah my first was biovision 9 that was the first purchase first yeah right she didn't even know how much it was fucking (laughs) hilarious did I ever get in shit? Holy fuck. <laughs> well, is that oh, where you got it from? As in, like, uh, ask permission later, sort of. Well, you don't ask for permission. You ask for forgiveness, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Way easier. Way easier. Because it's already fucking there, right? Yeah. So, like, come on, sweetheart. I ain't, you know, taking it back. If you don't want it, move it back. Oh, you can't. Right. <laughs> yeah, hate it in some more so I can get some speakers for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I, I did. In my experience, what actually works better is just taking her with and uh, going like, I could buy 90s. What do you think of 50s? <laughs> and then all of a sudden... I that, like the surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> that seems all of a sudden very reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you yeah, think of these was... huge speakers that you can't lift? Well, but there move? was no, like, what? The, yeah, there was Lab 5s back then, right? But the BB-9 was the most expensive TV other than the 65-inch, but the apartment wouldn't allow for that because it was the same scenario with the windows and shit. So I just made the decision. <laughs> Executive she decision? To... You're living with she liked the fuck I'm like, you like the fucking movies, baby, all right? So I bought a TV. Here you go. Yeah, it was $21,000, but that's besides the point. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck, fuck it. it. You, well, you live every day. You die only once, but <laughs> and she might do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep with one eye open tonight. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. That was a fun. That was a fun afternoon. Vote, people. Vote. 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 Yeah, that BB9 is still... It's my mom's house now. My yeah. mom's using that TV. I'm debating to give my mom the 8000s or those Lab 9s for the TV. What's the century? Think, well, the BB9 itself. The 9s. Nines, yeah. I know, that's what I'm thinking, right? Because they kind of look like the same and shit. But yeah, depends on how much room she's got. Correct, yeah. Time, yeah, but yeah period the difference time is minimal, isn't it? Like the... I mean, 8,000s are like that much. The 9s are that much. It's not that much. Oh, no, but in a width, it does make a big difference if it's in a narrow spot. Like, But then again, I don't know where it's going to end up. Clamp a little bit on the sides. The 9s would look... It's a look, very uh, big difference between the footprint of the 9s and the 5s. The 5s were like... The 5s are both here. It's just ridiculous. Speaking yeah. of uh, narrow footprints, I don't think I've asked you yet, Eric... Uh, you heard the 28s now as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like them? I love them. Uh, I mean, again, it was like, I have the 20s. Why should I buy the 28s? I mean, they can't really be that good. I mean, look at the size of them. I took my friend and he has nines. And it was like, we can go for your sake. So you can, you know, you maybe can buy them. And I was sitting there and I was like, of course, I'm going to buy them. Of course. Mm-hmm. But... For me, it's mostly in that, in the narrow mode. That's why I really want to buy them, because in the wide mode, the similarities with the twenties is very similar. So, what, what I can say. Uh, uh, well, you also hear it the fifties, and that's kind of where uh, I'm going with this, because I got a question over Instagram, and uh, it's been a bit of a discussion partially because like the house is not done yet. It's being redone. And uh, I already t- spoke to Willie a bit about this. And I've also spoken to Sandeep about it. Uh, so this is roughly the front look of the room uh, with possible fifties and a 77 inch harmony. Yeah. To me, especially with the cabinet here and everything, the speakers are going to get hit, man. First of all, I mean, this room is roughly four meters by five meters or so. Like, do you think that's too tight having heard the 50s when they're this close to the center channel? 
Well, how big is the room in all? Doesn't look like a. You know what I would have done? Quite honestly, I would have. No, it's about four meters by five meters. Yeah, so it's kind of. What I would do, I would probably go with the 28s in this scenario. Yeah. yeah, Leave the one by the cabinet, shift the TV closer to the doorway, and put the other one in the corner. Do you know who has this kind of arrangement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, I, I do you know do- if there are any rear speakers? Yes. Including? So the yeah. uh, so sorry. Uh, yeah. Start over. The 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 preface is is that uh, the harmony is basically a set thing. The question then rests: Do uh, does he go with fifties front, eighteens rear in this situ- Because this is the only situation yeah, where yeah, it goes. Yeah. Or four twenty eights. Four twenty eights. That's so easy for me, especially for the money, because he will have money left yes. over. And still the sound of it, even the bass response and all that, will not be compromised in this kind of room. It's a small if enough have, room. Yeah, if this room was like 50 to like 60 square meters or something in you know, volume, this is another thing. But here, you never hear. That's because for us who have heard the 28th, the the bass is kind of the most ex- you know I would make four twenty eight man he would shit a yeah. brick for how good and also sound what we talked about to get the best you know surround sound is to have the same speakers all around would so. you put a subwoofer with it no needed no needed at all no, especially with, even for me yeah but which one is, because a nineteen 19. doesn't add anything no 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 no. You don't but, think it would? Not really. I think it no. Would. Un- unless you set the cro- sure. But technically, it's not entirely true. It could add something, but we're then talking yeah. from about twenty hertz to thirty-ish hertz. So yeah. you have a subwoofer for like ten hertz of frequency range. Is that worth like three and a half grand? Yeah. I don't know. I think that uh, well. Depends in that case, you just get fifties all around if you have that kind of nitpicking, but you never kind of know and bless it so loud. So no. But uh, for me, when I have night listening on the TV and I'm watching movies, I have just the TV and the eighteens, and the TV itself and this is has much a better. very good base. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like with the door in, but apparently the door closes yeah. from the other side, and it's. But I mean. Uh, Wallpapered. So. Yeah, something like that. It, it's sort of a rough up sketch, but to, this already, in terms of looks, looks way better to me. Way lighter and airy. I do agree with Sandy, but I just didn't want to go there. But I would toss that fucking bootcase in a goddamn campfire and <laughs> just make that whole wall a proper wall. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention. I was talking to Sandy earlier today, and if you can get rid of this bookcase and you really, really want fifties. Well, if you That's really, really want it. 50s, get rid of the bookcase because then there's much less still, of an argument. For that room, even though get rid of the bookcase, the 28s would still be perfect for that room. They sure. would be fine. But, but with the 50s I, I that close, your left and right is like there if, if you're sitting like three meters away, right? When your left and right is kind of supposed to be there. I mean, yeah. his 50s, I feel, are, well, first of all, Two base drivers are basically uh, opposing one another in the room compensation, which is going to be somewhat weird. And I feel that, especially when they're that close together, because he set it up at his dealer, and but, this is more or less what it would look like, how close it would be together. Yeah. That's, but if you go back to the uh, picture before... That's too crammed, man. Like, that's, is that's a display it, in the shop. Yeah, but is it possible to move the right speaker behind the door or... The, in the corner of the door. That's what I would do. Like I said, Is either possible? get rid of that goofy bookcase and put the 28s in each corner of this, because they're obviously not going to get hit by anybody if uh, there's enough room on that side of the door. Can you pull up the picture again uh, for a second? Maybe and, we are 10 seconds behind or something. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, and, and just throw the, that, and yeah, man, and just have some fucking marshmallows over that bookcase and put some floating shelves or something that looks a little better than... Uh, Something that the grandmothers would put their fucking silver spoons into. It's just, I'm sorry, but I would toss that out. Yeah, I think right, it, it, I think it I just, think, I think it just, I, I think it. To spread it out. A it, it, it brings the entire sophisticated look of it down. 
and then it's gonna look. What the fuck is that? Like the 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 empty the the non shelf area. Like what is that? You're gonna put bathrobes in it? Like what's the point of that? Well, you got an ironing board in there. It looks like a hotel shelf. For fuck's sake. Maybe it's collectibles or something like that with lights in it. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't asked that. No, but I'm saying like the other side, right? The blank. Like I just, I would, uh, I would just put floating shelves in it, man. Like you can still fucking light it up with LEDs and all that stuff. If you already, you got the room torn to pieces, anyways, as it seems. So do it right, man. And especially like if you're considering 50s, you obviously have enough money uh, to 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 do this room correctly, or or make it right. So, I would do 428, one in the corner, burn the shelf, put the TV in there, two in the back, and then some floating shelves or whatever, a little bit of artwork uh, around. Maybe the, the person wants the to have the shelf. I don't know. Maybe it's needed somehow. Yeah. If- I mean, to me, it's mostly like if you're going to have it roughly like this, especially with this bookcase here, and so you're going to end up with this look. Your 50s are so close together with one wall that's like that far away, as in the bookcase. Then you have the other one open to the door. I mean, that's where 28 shine a bit more. Like yeah. if. I mean, this is too close for 50s. Uh, like uh, Sandeep was saying, his 50s are five meters apart. Mine are just over four meters. And they used to be about three. And that difference makes so much uh, like stereo difference. Yeah, compared to my room when I have the fives, the, the fives is now filling up a room with like 40 to 50 square meters compared to before when it just was too clamped in there so big yeah. speakers need bigger room yeah especially some you know apart from each other yeah because you wouldn't put your 20s I, any closer together would you no yeah like i would dispute the big speaker needs a bigger room especially the 28s and 50s and 90s when they can self-attune yeah but the the imaging just suffers man like you can't get a good sound of something that is so close Especially when you're like, I sit in a perfect isosceles triangle mm-hmm. from where I'm at. I'm three and a half meters from uh, each speaker, and each speaker is three and a half meters from one another. And but like, uh, talk a little bit more about the, the 28s. One thing that I've heard is that it has some software issues. Uh, I know that uh, a friend of mine was going to visit uh, a shop in England, and you know, oh, finally I'm gonna go and see and what how they were playing and the dealer was like, no, they're out of service right now. This is some software issue. We can't play them. And another person that I know has them and has some issue with the software. So is this a common issue, do you think? Or I'm is... not surprised. I don't know if it's common or not, but I'm not surprised. Early sickness with bangles and that, you know. I When <laughs> I went to Vancouver and listened to them, I have have one wink at me because it just like for some reason the lamellas came in and out again, right? And, I guess yeah. they, they, that partially depends on whether they're wired or wireless. And, yeah. Uh, how they attach to stuff and what you're doing. I mean, if you're wired, you're pretty much good. Uh, like John says, couple of li- little niggles on wireless, but overall pretty solid. I mean, that's the same thing Henrik said about his because he still yeah, has them in. It. I mean, he says. Uh, there's been one or two occasions where one shut off and then it reconnected and it was fine. And his, I think, are totally wireless. Yeah. And so from says, um, wireless from the TV to the master and then to the left one. In between them. Yeah. Which is kind of because initially with the 50s, that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> At least with the 28s, that works. Like 98% the whole kind of, of the time. This kind of show started because your problems, yeah. with, problems with the 50s. Yeah. Uh, Mark says, I think the 28s look tiny next to the TV. Sort of, but... They don't... The AR app makes it look a little weird because it's disproportionate, in my opinion, quite a bit. But uh, I've seen them and I listened to them in front of a 77-inch screen. uh, And they didn't look that much out of place. So... Uh, yeah. They just look out of place in there because the shelf really just disturbs the entire look of that wall. That would be yeah. So this is uh, and that was a sixty-five inch Eclipse. The Harmony was downstairs, but that, that almost looks like a fifty-five inch. But 
I mean, if that is actually a 65 inch eclipse, then the, the 28s don't look that small, really. I mean, maybe next No, to I his... think this is a 55 based on the looks of it. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah, comparatively to the grill house, yeah, it's a 55. They are, fuck, well, they're the size of the 18s, man. Like, you know, a little bit taller, not really that much more. And they're not much girthier than the 18s when you're looking at them from the front because the, the lamellas make that speaker look fan out and, and wide. I mean, I, but, I'm uh, not saying they, they look uh, thick compared to 50s. Like, not at all. They're, they're skinny little straws compared to 50s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like compared to just about everything else, they're quite nice looking. And they've grown yes. on me a lot more than the early uh, B&O photography. I just wish that Prestige uh, covers can make some different versions of the covers for this. Especially in very dark, the black ones or something that would match my setup here. That's mm. the only thing that I'm waiting for to replace the 20s is that if I can get dark or very black covers for them not mm -hmm. they don't have the in, black covers yet it's just the smoked oak and uh regular oak i guess there were the black covers but they were only for the yeah for 28. those 28 ones yeah yeah but if someone can make something similar to match the lamellas that i have in the rear then it's just sealed deal yeah, because you can order those for B&O. it's just very expensive no. yeah and it's... they they are sold as spare parts but they're uh, yeah. Is it 1,600 euro a, a speaker <laughs> for the black yeah. ones? <laughs> it's not worth it, man. <laughs> I mean, w one other thing where if you, if you were to put a speaker next to the door, right, a 28 would fit there quite easily. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. And Sigurd and, and Weaver flame so over that fucking shelf and put the other one in the corner on the other side. Yeah. Also, be but so much. one thing I... To follow up on that is yeah, yeah. with the room compensation, I wouldn't put fifties or nineties without a wire between them. Yeah. I have no issue doing that with twenty eights, because like half of, half of the room compensation with fifties doesn't work unless there's a wire in between them. Yeah, but he's got yeah. drywall. He hasn't even taped it up. He can run it up, up like through the freaking uh, yeah, so twenty eight over top of the door and bring it perfectly down perfectly in the corner without. You know the cable management being that messy would be fitting right perfectly. Fifty in the corner would also fit, and it would. I really? think it would look stellar from the other side also because you could get to look at the part of the speaker that nobody ever fucking gets to look at, which is the in most real life. In my opinion, in real life, right? having fifties in that corner, I think it's something to hit the toe in. It's, no. If the you fuck pass. are you walking around with like moon boots in your house, man? What the fuck? Like I'm, uh, I'm not doing the walking here. So well, no. you're not doing the walking. <laughs> so what? You're gonna be running into shit? Yeah, I do sometimes. <laughs> Put a pool noodle on your fucking footrest, <laughs> like around <laughs> bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> bumper cars. <laughs> oh well. I mean, but, uh, I guess I'll have to talk to him again. But if you're dead, if he's dead set on design and having the the cabinet there, then twenty eight is the way to go. I I would say twenty eight either way. For that room, you would you have no loss in kind of mus music or f movie experience to have four twenty eights instead of having fifties and eighteens as rear. So in that case, just go with the same all around. But if you're a good, a, a bigger music person than the movie person, this makes complete sense to go with the big ass speakers at the front and whoever, whatever for the backs, just like me. Like for the the amount of movie watching that I do, comparatively to how much music I consume, yeah, it makes no sense for me to go with something stupid, and crazy, and and also like in the way because one speaker is always in a basically a, a, a walking path, and the other one is more or less within the range of hitting shit when you're articulated sitting in the kitchen. If I would have to done read on the, the my cinema room, I would get more 17s instead of the 18s. But I had the 18s before, and I like the look of it because of how you pass through the room and you, have, you see them on the wall. So that's mainly the reason why I kept them. But still, I would still go for the 17s almost all around. It would have... No need for this uh, 20s, I would almost say, because it, just 17s all around would fit it perfectly. With the sub. Yeah, yeah I did sub, ask probably. him, like, what, what do you do? And it, 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 like music or movies? And it's mostly movies. 
Yeah. And that's why. Go I with think... four twenty eights, man. Yeah. I mean, the twenty eights are surprisingly good, and they are. I mean, you can even uh, like if the the right twenty eight moves to next to the door, you can even move the TV over a bit if you're really. I would dead. center that TV with the wall, get rid of the shelving unit, and and just spread the speakers to the far corners. Which that'll also help those little puny six and a half inch drivers with the bass response because in the corner they'll they'll they don't have to work as much you know you're gonna have the same bass, but which it, it, it's auto attenuated anyways. But uh, because it's in the corner, you have six decibels less of uh, sweat in the driver that it can that, that that just uses the natural boost of the room, or or it's or it's a. I just have to add to John Williams' comment there that the seventies are great, you know. Surround speakers, they are great normal speakers too. That's mainly, I think, the flaw with Bells and that they are always marketing or dealers. Just They're not marketing. Surround. It's like, ta da! Oh, no, but whatever. When people buy <laughs> them, they <laughs> see them as you know, rear speakers. They don't see them as you know, main speakers. They no. can be really good main speakers. The I agree, but no, I've. Uh... People think that, I mean, you get 17s as, or 18s as just. So 18s. But that's well, I think what they wanted to sell. They are their rear channels, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, but I think 17s. they wanted to. They'd rather sell 18s as main speakers than yeah, 17s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because they don't still, have the sex appeal. When people buy them, they think, oh, 17s, you need subwoofers, you need all this kind of blah blah. blah. But also, no, you don't. in the design, of course, people will buy the 18s. But yeah. The 17s are great for, you know, regular speakers, surround speakers, everything. Yeah, I'm still, like, looking at this. Don't get me wrong, I love my Harmony 77 mm -hmm. and 50s, but I, I, don't, I, just, I don't think I would ever want my 50s to be this close to the TV. What's the point? Like, we, we measured it out at your place, right? Like, even if you get a Harmony 77, your 90s would be nowhere near this close to the screen. No. No, I would still have about this much on yeah. each side, which is not much, but it's still, I guess it'll pass. The only That's problem why is that... you have to go with the 88s instead. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> Put it on a motorized floor stand so I can just, I think just as this huge panel move out of my way so I can go on the balcony. I mean, I just think like looking at this and uh, having lived with the 50s, like your center channel is oh. going to be gone, as in... Like you're gonna have to boost that so much to even pick it out out of the two massive speakers right next to it. I uh, the way that they are here set up, I don't think I would ever utilize the insides of the Harmony. By the way, how is the voting going? Uh, it's still going, forty-two votes, and it's tied again with Brendan and Eduardo. Is it? Oh, I, I need to re. I need to refresh. Oh, yeah. dear <laughs> Lord. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah. That's going to be interesting. Should we just shift one to one wish? <laughs> Everybody gets one lamella. Fuck it. Oh, Pick a side. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> vote people vote Ooh, something's happening something's nope. happening yeah. it's happening so yeah I uh what were we talking about oh yeah the 17th well they're gone now anyways I Sadly. wonder if they're gonna come up with something that actually replaces the speaker in its class level balance cause I will uh like I guess what I guess the 28s replaced the the 20s, right? Let's just argue, agree on that. Uh, there still needs to be something that replaces the class that basically the 17s took over for the 4000s and the lap threes. That was. I think it's the balance and the level now. And the merge is like the build lap four. In that sounds. Yeah, I understand that, but like. Because you now can't the, just the buy new two levels system. and fucking connect them to an old Bio Sound Four without having issues. I don't Bio Unless now. you do line and input yeah, yeah, and yeah. all the nonsense, right? And that's like, maybe the reason that 
you know, before Bowson always did this, so it was available for you to, you know, mix match with old stuff. Now they just really don't care about that as much. They Maybe really... there isn't market for it enough that people, you know, a CBNOs as just bigger speakers at this point of time and, and, yeah. and yeah, you, you're right with the portable shit, because quite honestly... Like, I, I, I understand them. why should we care about these kind of old systems that we have, but still, that was kind of the charm with Bells, and you can have stuff from the 80s together with the new stuff, and, you know, works flawlessly, but now, yes. mm, unfortunately. I still like the fact that everything ties together with everything. Yeah, it's kind of what Bang Austin was. But there is a huge cut line when it comes to the David Lewis design era. Yeah, which, yeah, but you know, and even before David Lewis, I mean, with Jacob Jensen's style, there was this, you know, Sonos idea of music way mm -hmm. before people even thought this kind of multi-room and all this. Was well, Jensen music. was very engineer-based yeah. design, like the, the rulers, the slide ruler, uh, the, you know, dials yeah, and all that shit that they used. In his time of era, he introduced the music in different rooms. And that was just yeah. way before David Lewis took it on and made it. Well, that was the master control link yeah. era, right? Yeah. And then there was the master control. It's like era. Michael is just watching every vote comes in. And, oh, hey, oh, oh, no, oh, no. No, if we're doing. I would because... go with 28, Brandon, for this room, if you're asking from the earlier in the chat that if this, if uh, the 50s would fit. The 50s would fit, but you'd have to lose the cabinet. Yes, for sure. Like, put it next to the fireplace or something. If you want to keep it. Please. But uh, other than that, I would go with 28. Uh, that's a tall ceiling, too, because it's an open uh, concept, I guess, right? It'll be fun when you set them up and you'll hear the voice of God. That's fucking weird. <laughs> this is in sync. This is Could out it? of sync. <laughs> it's so weird. It would be fun to place a BioLab freeze in the vent to have some speakers or sound coming out of that. Yeah, and make your speaker <laughs> want that option. Yeah. Oh god. Is. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would. I would settle for twenty eight on this. The 28 is for my, for, for me now, the only kind of speakers that's very, for like everyone, is so goddamn good that, you know, there's no need for most people to get 50s, especially for what most people live with in circumstances, especially for that kind of money. Also, we're now with the increase of the build up 50s, there are very... Is there a deal on 50s now? No, but they are so much more expensive now when they were new. I mean, extreme almost. <laughs> Except me. <laughs> well, don't, don't, I'm, I'm glad that that's not a threat because uh, Eduardo's winning by six votes now. <laughs> so, unless uh, Brendan can figure out how to get more VPNs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, points, so. uh, pick your team. Uh, team Brendan, uh, t team uh, Eduardo's, team Alexander. I, I wasn't it uh, Eduardo's that promised us all beer. <laughs> I mean, it's a good I promise. So. I would say if it's a tie, then we pick Leffe instead. Be See, Chromecast and Airplay to make all the issues between the Mozart and the old platform go away. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But then again, like we're forgetting that you know, because oh, oh fuck, and it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. But at the end of the day, like the piano is so old, like the shit that you have in the house is so old. Like the Chromecast wasn't even a fucking thing back in like the be old at twelve days. Like you know, th th that wasn't even a word at that point. Like so. And I like that with the Mozart platform now that you can actually do, uh, I guess you can swap out the guts and, and keep the longevity uh, of the of the speaker chassis, I guess. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to how far along will that uh, support go. It's the same thing that I wonder 
you know, completely different topic, I guess, but relevant in some ways, is with Lego. Like, all these new fucking techniques are, are Bluetooth controlled, which means that your phone has to be, that the app needs compatibility. At what point will they stop supporting the app and your models become unusable? Because there's no, like, loose clutch that you can just, you know, but play with it. Lego has kind of done that, especially with their kind of system for trains, where this was IR built. And I was like, and now they just, oh, now we have a new system and everything has to be replaced for... The trains is the worst Lego investment because the trains, they change, like, trains yeah, change, are the change. most prone to those changes. Yeah. There's, there's so many different motors. Like, I remember back when I was a kid, the train tracks were metal, right? Because they Yeah, I had, those, I had those 9 volt system. And it was right? great, but now it's just... Now, much okay, well, fuck, or... those train tracks are way more expensive to make, so we're just going to mold them out of whatever, right? Just get the free it's molds the and then price. you just... Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. Yeah. It's charged so, the same for the amount of tracks. So that's what, and, and, and another thing that I have an issue with it, it's that, like if you, kids, right? You're going to have Alphonse. Do you want him to fucking play with Lego on the phone to work it? Or would you rather have him play with Lego with hands on tactile, right? Because, like, you know, there's enough, there's screen time for kids, like, you can't. You just can't escape it, right? There's either the phones, the the, the tablets, the the televisions. Uh, so like the Lego back in the day, and and, and to I to my you know when I didn't want to watch TV or my parents just like go play with Lego or I oh, would go play with Lego myself. So now you have to have a damn screen just to get uh, just to utilize your model. For so me, uh, you can control the trains from your phone, but you mm -hmm. can also control it with the control that you get. And for me, I was, I will always be pro the real controller, so you don't really yes. need a phone. So yeah, he will always. I would hate using a phone from all B and O all the time. Yeah, it's uh... it's something that you have in emergency. From, from when I lay in bed and I, oh god damn, the control is not here. Then I can use the remote from the app, but it's very... it's cumbersome. I don't like yeah. it. I... I just, you know, I'd rather Especially have on remote. Android when it takes two minutes for the fucking app to start. It's, <laughs> it's not bad now. Now It's all fixed. It What's works, but it's still just... Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm not a biggest fan of the, the, the app system. And, and also the problem that I have with the Mozart platform that, like I said earlier, that uh, the level is on its own in my house now, right? Like, it's, it's a more or less a balcony speaker. But, you know, if I play the tune-in radio here... And in the level as well, it kind of is in sync or plays the same, but it's not synchronized, right? Yeah. Uh, By the way, this is uh, John's place for after the show right yeah. now. You're talking about, yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I don't see the 18s being discontinued anytime soon. I they think were they very got another... close to being discontinued, actually. But... My guess is they have another at least five to ten years on them. Yeah, but they were very close to being discontinued. Which would have been a fucking mistake. Yeah. Dude. Yes. Well, then again, they, they were making a bunch of mistakes. <laughs> well, 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 I'm glad that they stopped when they were on the road. Well, wasn't thought that people would now get the 28s, but still, there would be a different kind of customer, I think. Um, I think we have to talk executive ex uh, decisions for a second, because okay. uh, I, I smell English-speaking... Um, in the West type of election shenanigans going on. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Uh, the votes keep totaling in quite quickly to an extent that there's way more votes than we had viewers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who is now winning? Eduardo. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And that's a bit weird when you look at the last <laughs> when you look at the last uh, uh, what you call it uh, vote that was the pre. I guess so that you had my wife system. and my best friend. I guess people are using their bodies and pooling fucking resources, man. I appreciate that. If you yeah, have to beat the system, you're, then you're you know. They had an extra your... hour. <laughs> Uh, myself and I voted. Uh, so, so. 
I'll, I'll, I'll show you. This was the prelims, right? Let's get the stats up, bros. <laughs> and what do I ask to vote everybody I know? So that's fair point, man. Yeah. It's a yeah, fair, it's a fair game, point. Yeah, yeah. He went the... out of his way to bother motherfuckers on <laughs> Sunday night to Mom. vote for bullshit. Mom, and I... look I... into the iPad. <laughs> I understand, but <laughs> then we go to the current poll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see the current poll. Then. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Stop <Stopped the count. laughs> oh, shit, the count. Oh, shiitake mushroom. I'm not sure it's the Russians. Uh, <laughs> well, then again... Uh, I mean, uh, is it what the sp Spanish Eduardas? <laughs> it sounds Spanish enough. <laughs> Spaniards got it hooked up, man. He must have called a lot of people. Fucking hell, thirty-nine votes. Spanish are large families too, so I can see that. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, I, I guess if I'm in the minority, uh, then uh, the Supreme Court won't take the case. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's how it goes. So yeah, I uh yeah, let's just keep on going with the ten minutes. Brendan, call your people. <laughs> call everybody. Call everybody. Yeah. Uh... <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. This will be our uh yeah, our Russia gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Why are 28 guys... so similarly designed to what? To 18s? No. No, I don't think so. No, even close. No. Like they're, they're, yeah, I think they have their look on their own. No, I think they that, have a look like, on their own. Uh, they also have drivers pointing sideways, quite literally 90 degrees off what is front facing. No, I, but that's on the inside. You don't see that. But actually, for me, yeah, but the like the, the, the metal master making space for that. Like, if you look at uh, at at the 18s, it's almost a perfect circle with a sliver out the middle. Like with uh, the 28s, it's like you have that much to have drivers here, there, and there. Which yeah, but you like prefer? so, Matthew, Without... what, what you're actually saying. Those two speakers are completely two different speakers. One is a smart speaker per se. The other one is just a fucking design icon at this point that sounds semi decent. And yeah. you know, sorry for all y'all that has 18s. I have 18s myself, but I've uh, that's rear channel speakers to me. Yeah, and if I had an 18 set with the Lab 19, I would be very keen on get them and trade it in through my dealer in Vancouver to for the set of 28. But which design do you prefer, just if you think of the design, the 18s or the 28s? Uh, I still prefer the 18s. Same here. Michael? I prefer the 18s. Sorry. Which design do you prefer, if you're just talking design, the, the 18s or the 28s? Too, too early to tell, quite really? honestly, because I okay. haven't spent enough time around 20, uh, 28. Because I like the design of the... I, I, I like them both. I love fluid. the 18s, don't get me yeah. wrong. But the 28s, in my opinion, are not far off. And when I imagine them standing there where they are, I think I could equally love the 28s. For me, for me, it would. But the thing is, I've never had them there, so it's kind no, of yeah. hard to compare a bit, because like showroom light versus home light is very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, I, I think it would look better if they integrated the base a little bit better than they have kind of two separate units. They have the base and they have the flowing speakers. I get to the to, to wall mounted. <laughs> Kind of have to, but still, if they can could have integrated that design a little bit more, it would be a little bit better looking in my case. But now I'm kind of nitpicking. 
I agree with you. Well, I did agree with you till I saw them in real life. Because I, to me, they looked like a fucking test tube over a Bunsen burner. That's what they look like to me as a design. But when I actually see that in flesh, I don't mind the look of them at no, all. No, 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 no. You don't mind it. So, as I said, nitpicking. So. They could have looked even better. They look great. They can have looked even better. I would say. So, how is it going with the remote? <laughs> I think we have to announce a winner before I go, at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, November all over again. <laughs> In the <laughs> middle of the night. <laughs> if we have a winner, Michael, we have a winner. That's simple as that. I have to say. Yeah, just wait we until the Italians this... bring their guns on the onto the pitch <laughs> yeah. and go bang, 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 and score. Yeah, we're winners. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think you can compare Eduardo's right yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying court didn't uh, agree with me <laughs> i you know why not that i don't agree i just find it hilarious that he went around fucking all his friends to get yeah, yeah. and shared the link to, to vote on it so i that's a for effort man yeah that's that's my two cents on it yeah if you're good enough that- to beat the system then you're worth it you know, winning. So, yeah. You know a lot of people, dude. <laughs> Go CIA! <laughs> 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 In that case, if you're yeah. good <laughs> Use all of your accounts. <laughs> Brandon, you'd, if, if you didn't win, it was for a reason, because you should get yourself some 28s. <laughs> yeah, it's not a That's... bad deal. Or get some 50s. Yeah. 28s, I think, would look better in that room. Uh, nice and neat. I would wire him though still if I were to, to do it. But I don't know where can you go to listen to them because you obviously got the TV from a dealer in US. I don't know how far were you shopping from. It's in Texas. Where the fuck is the next dealer? Closest dealer. Isn't that in Texas? Texas doesn't have a dealer anymore. Is it close now? Yeah, I did that shop was close. Ohio. Holy fuck. All right. So yeah, that's that's... That's a far drive. <laughs> Sandeep says turnout wins elections. That doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Mailer so wins is... elections. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Ohio? Holy fuck, that's like a thousand miles away. Yeah, that sucks that you can't even go and listen to stuff. Well, you can, but it's four days. But an American <laughs> distance is almost around the corner, so it's... No, 1500k, no. so yeah, it's a day drive. Yeah, it's a day drive. Listen to Don't the... Uh, man. I've Canadian done it here. in Vancouver. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I get it, but it's like 15 hours, like most... Uh, because only Texas has a slightly higher s- speed limit. Most of the way, it's like 60 miles an hour, which is you like... You get them shipped, right? It's just like 95 kilometers an it's hour. A so it's like a over f- and then you ship Without back. stops, it's 15 hours. Yeah, 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 but you fly over and ship them back, right? Who drives fucking speed limit, though? But in the US, it's... Yeah, but even if you don't, like, how much are you going over the speed limit? 20. 15. Miles? Or kilometers? Kilometers. Yeah. Kilometers, dude. So that takes an hour off. That's 14-hour drive. If yeah, you but don't there stop are stretches. Do, uh, there are stretches, though. <laughs> in between, there is there is stretches where the hammer goes to the fucking floor, and yeah, dollar sixty, dollar seventy, and then you bring it back down, right? Yeah. I recently got a ticket for the first time in my life for speeding. It was a, a hundred kilometers an hour uh, road when I was doing, as Willie said, twenty over. But I thought it was a one ten road, so. I, Thought this was your only over. <laughs> you like added that. a wrong tax on your fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> conversion. <laughs> yeah, and the police officer thought you were doing uh, 122. I was like, yeah, yeah. But it's, wasn't this 110 road? No, it's 100 road. Yeah, yeah. But it was still speeding. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. But not Did that he pull much. you over or he caught up to you? Uh, it was, they were standing over a bridge over this oh, kind of okay. highway. So it was like uh, catching me. I was like, what, 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 what do they want? 
And it was definitely, do you know where we started? I don't know, regular control, I guess. But no, you were speeding. Oh. Well, you were speeding too to catch up to me, so you're a yeah. fucking hypocrite. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> did he really say that, or did he go, hurty turdy speedy, bro? <laughs> 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 no, but it was just this bad. I thought it was 110 road, but now it's 100. Oh, he was still speeding, though. But yeah, yeah, I know, but yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I could have done so much work. So yeah, I'm just glad I kept my license. It wasn't that expensive either way, so. All right, so let's call it, I guess, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eduardo, uh, you're the winner. Chicken dinner. Let's see who it was. Who is the winner? <laughs> Thank everybody that fucking helped you out. Because this was almost like a crazy election. 82 votes and 33 watching. That's fucked up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, goddammit. I smell some but every, well, Yeah, but not everyone has to be watching to vote. As he said, Grandma, get the iPad, vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only other way you could have made it clean is if well, I voted <laughs> to your email address. Yeah. And then you could sift bullshit votes and not vote. Edwards, however you played it, uh, say sorry to Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> you won. Oh yes. God, Eduardo's just biting the fuck out of it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats, man. Enjoy him. I, 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 I hope the covers uh, get to you before uh, everything is done. Uh, because yeah, send you some really pictures. need to get on this because this is... Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you need to <laughs> do something about your fireplace. I'm actually kind of happy that uh, what you might call it, your TV is not on here. So that's a big plus. Yeah. We but hated that so much. The cat. <laughs> the cat fucking just comes in. <laughs> what he was doing this kind well, of... Well, we've been doing morning. this for three years, so they started to get cockier as the time goes by. Yeah. So yeah, uh, maybe yeah. I'll uh, do a giveaway of some sorts that I, <laughs> shit that I don't need. <laughs> don't be kind. <laughs> uh, so uh, make sure that we all thank Prestige Creators. Solid <laughs> works, man. Solid works from Prestige for sure. Indeed. That's awesome. I mean, uh, links are in the description. Uh, <laughs> Brendan said, I hope they ship them with Post North. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's really salty at word. <laughs> You're going to get fucking toothpicks if that's going to be Post North. <laughs> yeah, when did we actually agree to s sell that shit? Because that's been like, what, a year and a half on now? Something mm. like that? Holy fuck. I think it was a year since the. Like, we go at least. 60 episodes back when when you sent it i sent out uh, we talked about it in february i sent it in april you get it back completely destroyed in because first of all you said i sent it and it got back and sent it it got back so when you finally got it in like june then it was broken and then i filed the complaint and now in july one year later it's final result did you send it three times, basically? Or yeah, 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 yeah. No wonder they fucked it up. It's like, this and box it, again is the fucking box! It took like three weeks between every time. It just Didn't they actually first... deliver them to your neighbors as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My neighbor, uh, who, weird enough, has the same first name as my girlfriend, but that has nothing to do with anything, because you go by a surname, but she got a note that she had a package to receive, Although it was our, uh, it's just so messed up. It was so sense. messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so no just, sense. yeah, exactly. So uh, how do you think about, uh, what do you think of thoughts about our services at Boston? Well, <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> and this yeah. and that and this and that. <laughs> you should have had somebody in the PR block that email being sent to me. Because yeah. <laughs> now I'm just mad. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we want uh, pictures, by the way, Edward. That's, that's the one thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Once they're installed, we want pictures. Yeah, uh, man. Because, uh, and also, that fucking cable mess of yours needs to be gone. 
And you I guess Michael wants the name of everyone who voted for you, that ever related. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind you of won't... difficult to do a digital audit when you don't know who votes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know for next time. Yeah, yeah next time you can only it, but... write to me in the fucking mail. <laughs> And don't I worry, my, there won't be any oversight present square. when I count the votes. <laughs> I still think you want fair square. <laughs> I just find it funny that people like you know that's that's fucking being resourceful, man. Like hey, kudos to that. Uh, yeah. Keep anyway, it. before we get uh, all, super duper salty, th <laughs> thank you all for watching. Thank you very much, Prestige Creators. This fucking amazing giveaway these last few weeks. You bet. Uh, we have Beer Lab uh, 8000 covers, uh, I mean, which are very nice. We had Beer Sound stage cover and a uh, 9000 cover. And uh, Eduardo, since you have 6000s as well, might as well get some matching covers for them as well. Those yeah. aren't on the house. Those you probably have to buy. <laughs> but at this case... but I would do it with both, yeah. uh, or when he said, so you can ship out both of them. Oh yeah, at least then, you can do. Then you can save on and, massive yeah. on shipping, and uh, and yeah, dude, I would uh, I would do this the six thousands as well because they're gonna look fucking weird without the lamellas when these yeah. are done up nice. So maybe it was a a, a, a curse in disguise of a blessing yes. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna have to spend some more money. Yeah, but but not that much. But I yeah. think you should. You're worth it. Yeah. yeah, I think you should. You fix the votes, motherfucker. Get yourself some 6,000 <laughs> Yeah, Get thank you for Get everyone vote for you. Get in, you know, ship in like a few dollars or a few pounds or something. Yeah. That's right. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Don, thank you very much for the uh, endless support. Uh, everybody yeah, else always appreciate also, it. Uh, thank you very much, dear leaders. And uh We'll see you in the next one. Roll, roll the outro. Uh, we're going to stream on Twitch tomorrow. Yeah, why not? Well, I'm just asking. It's no, it is uh, amazing. Like, I yeah, have, no, um, yeah, yeah. Monday is on my days off now, specifically, <laughs> so we can do this Sunday, Monday. So, well, yeah, if no, you uh, are bored, Eric, you can still join us. <laughs> yeah, man. Maybe in the Honda, maybe. <laughs> sure, that's Being... fine. Yeah, it's AC because here's so hot. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's what you're sitting in the car for, charging the <laughs> shit, sitting yeah. in the AC. Yeah. Wife and a kid dying in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> you baking again, sweetie? Oh no, <laughs> I'll be in the car, fuck. <laughs> anyway, once again, thank you for these creators. Massive, massive uh, winners uh, everywhere. Uh, thank you, this is amazing. And uh, see you all next, tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, the next week. Bye, everybody. Um, yeah. Bye. See ya.